Hi everyone, it's Jung here, and today I have a process video for this clean and simple card. I'm going to be using some products exclusive to scrapbook.com. I'll be using that black hybrid ink, some double sided tape, some Nina Solar White flat cards, and blank note cards. And these are the two stamp sets that I will be using the scrapbook.com clear stamps DIY coupons and the You and Me quilts and sayings. I'll be going over the scrapbook.com gift guide at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm starting off by using a couple of the Nina Solar White flat cards and an ink blending tool with some Tim Holtz Distress inks. I will have all the supplies linked in my blog post and I will be sure to leave my blog post link below. Okay, so the Distress inks colors that I'm using are Picked Raspberry, Ripe Persimmon, Squeezed Lemonade, Twisted Citron, Peacock Feathers, and Wilted Violet. I'm just using the ink blending tools with the sponges for each color and I'm just trying to get some color onto the cardstock. I'm making sure to clean my work surface between each color because I don't want to contaminate the colors. So I'm just trying to get the color on there. I'm not trying to make it perfect because I'm just going to be using a little stamp in each of the, the colors. You'll see me struggle a little bit with this color and that's because the sponge is new. I find that the ink blends a lot better when the sponges are seasoned with a lot of color on them. That's why you see me kind of uh, dabbing it off onto the work surface. I'm pulling out my Misty stamp positioning tool and I'm going to be using the one little circle stamp with a heart in it that says unlimited hugs included. I really like the graphic look of it. So I'm drying off the cards a little bit because I did put a lot of ink down and I wanted to make sure that they were completely dry before I stamped on it. I always like to stamp my um, stamp on a scratch piece of paper if I've never used a stamp before and that's what I'm doing there. And I'm using the scrapbook.com black hybrid ink. I really like the look it gave with just one stamp, but I'm double stamping it just because this is a clean and simple card and I wanted the, the black to be really dark and crisp. So I just stamped that same stamp on each of the colors and I'm going to be using a circle punch to punch them out. This is one that I have in my sash and it uh, punches out one inch circle so it was the perfect size for these stamps. And there they are all punched out. Okay so now I'm going to be using one of the blank note cards. I love that they're already uh, pre-cut and pre-scored. They are the 80 pound Nina Solar White cardstock and they are uh, five and a half by eight and a half uh, but once you you fold it it becomes the A2 size card which is five and a half by four and a quarter. Okay so I lined everything up and I decided that I needed a sentiment so I'm looking through the you and me quotes and sayings stamp set and I was either thinking about using the you are my favorite notification or the I adore you stamp set. Ultimately I decided that the I adore you was big and bold so I, I chose to go with that one. So what you just saw me doing is I try to season the stamps, brand new stamps, by uh, running my eraser over them. That usually helps them to stamp more cleanly. I decided that I wanted to white heat emboss the sentiment on some black cardstock. So I'm using Versamark ink and um, black cardstock. And I always stamp it twice just in case one messes up. And I'm using the Ranger Super Fine White Heat Embossing Powder. You also saw me use the um, anti-static powder tool to prep my cardstock before I stamped it and that helps to keep the embossing powder only where I want it. 
I'm just trying to make sure that my heat gun is good and hot before I take it to the paper. I'm just taking a clean dry paper towel to wipe off the residue from the anti-static powder. I'm using my Tim Holtz trimmer to trim down the sentiment. I decided the sides of the sentiment were a little too long, so I'm using my Tim Holtz trimmer again to trim it down some more. I'm using my bone folder to make sure my card is good and folded, and now I'm using my T-square ruler to make sure everything lines up and is as straight as I can get it because this is a clean card. I'm going to be using my favorite foam tape, which is by 3L Scrapbook Adhesives, and they come in two sizes. This is the smaller size. So I decided to make this card for my preteen daughter. When I saw the coupons and the tickets inside the DIY coupon stamp set, I thought they would be really cute to give my daughter um, instead of just money or a gift card. She's at that age where she would rather go shopping and hang out with her friends than receive like toys or anything. So this is a fun way to give her something she wants without just giving her cash. And on the little tickets, I wrote, movie with a friend, trip to our favorite ice cream shop, a shopping spree. And I made those off camera, but I did it exactly the same way as I did with the circle hearts that I showed earlier. I used the same inks and I used um, ink blending just like I did before. Instead of just leaving the coupons uh, loose inside, I decided a cute way to contain them would be to make a little pocket. So I'm using a pattern paper from the 6x6 Lawn Fawn paper pad. This is an older one. And I'm using the double-sided tape from scrapbook.com. I believe it's a quarter inch. And I'm taping the outer edges, leaving the top open so that I could slide the coupons in and out. And that's my finished card. I love the way it turned out. I think it's so cute. Um, stay tuned for pictures and also the uh, scrapbook.com gift guide. In the scrapbook.com gift guide, there's a lot of um, awesome products that would be great for crafty friends. I have a set of the We Are Memory Keepers paper trays, and I think they're great to keep your kits in if you subscribe to a monthly kit club. I think I might need to order another set soon. So you already saw me use the Tim Holtz trimmer, and I have several of the Distress Oxides. Not every color, but I do love them. That stamp platform would be great for stampers. I think it'll, it'll be comparable to the Misty tool. And then this stamp chamois by Lawn Fawn is awesome. I have one and it is well loved. So this side is uh, filled with exclusives from scrapbook.com, the double-sided adhesive, hybrid ink pads, clear stamps, storage, sponge daubers, stencil blending brushes, you name it, they have it. The die cutting tool that I use is by Sissix, but I think the Spellbinders die cutting tool would be awesome to try also. All right, that's it. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.